Right, hi everyone, this is the Angel Hug for Monday the 7th of January. Um, I got it wrong when I said I'd be back on the 6th because actually Monday's the 7th, but that's okay, it's all good. Hope you had a great Christmas and um, it's been really weird, hasn't it? I was so tempted to come back because it just felt like such a long period to be away. But I'm back now because I really felt it was important just to take that time to reflect. So. I'm just going to see what comes from the Archangel cards because they're the ones that are really lighting up in gold at the moment. So let's see why. Okay, you are safe. Right, so this is the card for Monday. And the reason I'm feeling this card has come up is that there's a lot of change happening still. It's the beginning of huge change in a lot of ways. And I, the main thing that I've felt really, really powerfully in the last couple of weeks and I feel it building at the moment and so let's focus on it for this week is this feeling of and you would have felt this around um, the 21st if you were kind of um, you know tuning in to see what are these energies what am I what is this shift what's supposed to be happening today there are a few themes that I've noticed as being quite predominant one of them is this a feeling that it's the truth is inescapable, that it's as if the blinders come off and all the things we didn't want to see before, we are suddenly allowing ourselves to see. It's not even that we're allowing ourselves to see them, it's that we can't not see them. And something that I felt very strongly around that time and then afterwards in the you know times after Christmas and um, around the new year, the beginning of the year, it just felt very much as if, oh my God, it was very difficult to tolerate the things that were not the truth, where people, because we're all becoming much more aware of what's really going on under the surface. So here's how it kind of feels that, you know, we all, most of us have people or someone in our lives who has an idea about how our lives should be or what we might be doing next or some kind of agenda which is let's just say not completely in integrity not completely unselfish not completely unconditionally loving and what I've noticed in myself and in people around me at that time and since is that there is a lower tolerance of this kind of behavior where people will actually behave in ways that try to influence you or will say things that will try to influence you and there is this burning feeling inside of I am aware of what my truth is in this situation and I have no choice but to follow it and I find it energetically challenging to be in the company of people who are not in integrity in an unconditionally loving space and that sounds quite extreme and dramatic and there are degrees of it and it comes up and it subsides and we find ways of dealing with things but it's not like with a lot of sensitive psychic empaths you know you grew up which is everyone really ultimately just not the people who are in denial about it so we've all had to grow up trying to fit ourselves into a mold around what we see as the surface layer that people play out and pretend that that's what's really going on. We've all had to learn how to compromise and live within that somehow in order to function in society. And what we're experiencing now is less of a willingness to do that. It doesn't mean that we're getting all aggressive and rebellious and uppity, but it does mean that there is this quiet storm building, or for some of us, it's just time to act. It's time to actually say, right, this is the truth, I have no choice now but to acknowledge it and act on it. So the way that I feel this card is figuring into that is to reassure you if there is something that you've seen that's been revealed to you in the last few weeks or last few days even, these things hit different people at different times, if there's something that you are really, really aware of at the core of your being, deep in your heart, not from you know, a feeling of, I want to do things my way, not that sort of um, single-mindedness, but there is a single-mindedness building in you because there's an undeniable truth. And if you feel like that, and you feel it might lead you to do something that feels a little bit risky initially, um, it's really just a reminder. Of course, it's your free will choice always, whether to act or not, whether to continue the way that you've been going or not, 
that's completely in your hands. That's the whole point of the human experience that you get to choose. However, if you've gotten to the point where you know you must act and do something or make a change, just know that you are not doing it alone, that you are protected, that you are safe, and that when you do follow your heart and you go onto this dynamic path of being in the flow, flowing with the stream, rather than working against it, you will find that that's the way the universe is trying to move you anyway, and so it will be easier for the universe to support you. I'm not saying all your dreams will come true overnight, I'm just saying you will find that if you felt resistance might be an issue in manifesting what you're wishing for or desiring to co-create with God, then you will find that when you step into the stream of trusting the inner core of you that is always connected to God, then you will feel the force of that, all of those beneficial energies coming behind you and supporting you to help practicalities and other bits and pieces to fall into place much more fluently and easily and congruently with what you're manifesting. Right, so that's a great way to start Monday, isn't it? Let's see whether the rest of the week will support that theme. And the other theme that I've noticed Right, I'm being told to stop. That's enough to absorb for one day. We'll see what comes up during the rest of the week. Have a great Monday, everyone, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye.